everybody Ann here, just sitting here on my front porch having my coffee with all of you. Today is Easter Sunday, so I'm just going to have a quick look around at things and see what transpires. Let's go check the wren box because usually by now she's laid an egg. I realize this may be hard to see, but there are now five eggs in there. Let me see if I can snap a photo. Can you see them? Can you see them, you guys? One, two, three, four, and the fifth one is in the back. And I agree. I think these are Carolina wren eggs. Somebody in the comment section mentioned those because they have the distinctive, like, little ring at the end, at one end. But uh, I don't know how many she's going to lay before she starts sitting on them. But I've read that the um, daddy wren will come and feed the mama wren. Um, or maybe even they take turns, like sitting on them and whatnot. So this is going to be a fantastic, exciting journey for me to go through. Hello, beautiful chickens. How many we got? Three leghorns, two black ones. I've already put a bunch of grub terra grub worms out there for them, so I'm not going to go hunting for worms today. Look, they're just happy to be outside. Let's see if there's any eggs. Oh, look, one laid out here. They will not lay in this nesting box. I don't know why. Ah, one finally laid in there. And three more in there. So one, two, three, four, five. I got eggs from all of my chickens that are laying right now. Let's see how Miss Pris Fancy Pants is doing. I wish you could see her. It's really hard. She's still sitting on the eggs. I replaced her water. Gave her a bowl of grit over there. And I can tell she's still eating her food, so she's doing really good. Like I said, you probably can't see her very well, but you can tell her her comb is paler. It looks like it's kind of shrunken a little bit. So, good girl, Miss Pris. Look at this, you guys. I just went over to my neighbors to give them a couple dozen eggs, and they had this beautiful, beautiful dandelion <laughs> greens. Oh, Papa. Come on. Growing all over the place. So, I'm going to give it to the chickens and they're going to love me forever. Oh, yes. They will peck at that until it is annihilated. And I didn't cut them up this time so they can cut them up themselves. They seem to have more fun that way. It looks like everything so far has survived still. And it's still growing. I watered them real well yesterday and then covered them back up. So I'm not going to uncover them at all today, um, even if it's too hot for the arugula. Uh, I think the arugula is pretty much toasted anyhow. Um, but look at how big some of them are getting. I don't know if you can see through that, but they're doing real well. And uh, yeah, so we got one more drop in temperature tonight, and hopefully after that we'll be home free. <laughs> no, chickens, I don't have more food for you. Go eat your greens. <laughs> I'm almost inclined to go chop them up for them, but you know what? They're able to do it. Oh, I gotta remember to give them some grit. I did have some grit in the corner of that little thing over there, but it's all gone now. Yeah, I think I need to give them some grit. Well, guess what, you guys? Not only is Papa taking a nice little nap, but Mr. Lucas showed up and we put this here gate up. Now, I need to tighten a few things and do a couple more things, attach some more fence clips to it, but we got it all the way over here yeah we could have probably put it to the tiny house and I need another fence post right here but we'll get it uh, it's wrapped around I still need to do a little bit of work on it but mr. Lucas was great here I am being all stubborn I want to do it one way and he's like no you have to do it this way and you know what he was right every single time so here is where the gate's going to be. I may go ahead and use this palette right now. I mean, it's got blue on the front of it. I kind of like the rustic look. Right now, it is just bungeed <laughs> to, uh, to both of these fence posts. Yeah, and I'm going to be doing something different with this over here. It's just wrapped around. We didn't even know that we were going to have enough left over to do this part. Um, so with this, what I'm going to do here, let me get these little bracket things. See this right here? This is going to work. Miss Donna sent this to me, and this is not pulled over enough right now. This end right here is going to go like on the outside of this. So what I do is I put this around the fence post, and then I nail this to this. I'll probably end up putting three of them in, one here, one here, and one here. 
and the fence post just goes right through this. All right? So that's going to be that. <laughs> Look at just days. Over here, um, I'm going to have some kind of latch. I'm not sure. But like I said, this, um, I want it to be able to swing both ways in and out. So this is going to be moved over just a little bit. Um, figure that out. Anyhow, uh, so what I'm going to do is either put this on underneath or all the way down at the bottom so that there's just a tiny bit of space so I can roll this. I won't have to lift it every time. So yeah, this is going to be the gate. This is totally going to be the gate and it's going to work out just fine. Uh, I just need to figure out how to latch it and put some handles on it and whatnot. Um, I haven't reinforced this part yet and we didn't have enough to finish this part so I just kind of fashioned a little bungeed together um, fence like this. Now I technically could use these pallets to do the actual fence. Over here I'm going to need another pallet or two. I think the gate's going to go like right here and you can actually just take these, slide them over the fence post, okay, and then where they come in contact here you just nail them together. Um, same here, you know, I'd have to rearrange them a little bit if I was going to use the pallets for a fence. But right now, they're just kind of bungeed together. These two aren't. But uh, they're staying up pretty good the way that I've got this all bungeed. <laughs> and I ran out of bungee, so I had to just tie this one to the post. Well, both of those to each other and to the post. And then I've got some wire on that one, and it's attached to the post. So, um... All I need is a little enclosure here. I don't know, maybe I'll put the gate there. But at least Papa is not gonna be getting up on the hill because he did it again today. So, yep, it's coming along. I think that I need, I think all I need really, if I'm not gonna go with this, if I, if I wanna go with the fencing, and I'm almost more inclined to go with the fencing because it's higher, um, Judy can jump over this. I could tell you right now, unless I'm gonna stand these up this way, Judy can jump over this. So um, I need enough fencing to go from here to here. And then gate goes here. I need another fence post here. And then have that other fencing go all the way out here. And then maybe another gate here. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe just one gate here. Um, but what I'd like to do too is put some of that fencing up against the dog yard because... I mean, Judy will chew right through this. She just will. She will. Now, Papa won't be because he's a good boy, but Judy is rambunctious. I could probably also put the chicken wire that Doreen sent me and maybe double it up. Um, and I think that that would help reinforce this a little bit. So, really, I think 50 feet is going to be enough, you know. And I can take these pallets away. I could actually use that one for a little gate because it's lighter. Um, and I think that will work just fine and do it just the same way as the other one. But it's coming along, and I'm very, very happy. And Mr. Lucas, phew, I think he was getting frustrated with me because I just get stupid when I start doing stuff like this when I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> you know? And I'm like, no, it has to be this way. Well, every single thing he said was right. So we got this up. A couple more tweaks. It's going to be great. Get the fence built and uh, get the rest of this done, and we're going to be golden. I also wanted to show you guys, since I'm not going to let the dogs underneath the house, um, just because, you know what, if one of them gets sick or something happens and they're like in the middle up underneath this house, there's plenty of space, of course, for me to crawl up underneath, but I don't want to be crawling in that mud looking for a dog who's sick or whatever. So I'm going to be blocking off eventually the entire tiny house, but for now, I just use this little thing and it has blocked off this portion. And for this portion right now, I've just got some buckets turned this way and that with some bricks kind of holding them down, a couple boards there. You know, it's Judy. Judy, she's like a bull in a china shop. She will go right through this. But eventually, I'd like to get some lattice to kind of block this off, block the side off. And um, eventually, what I'd really like is lattice all around the outside of the tiny house. So, yeah, I don't want the dogs up underneath the house. Um, you know, Papa likes to get in the shade. He's got an area over here that has plenty of shade he can get into, so that's going to work. And again, I just want to wish you all a very blessed Easter Sunday. Hopefully you're with family, friends, 
or if you're not like me, I'm probably going to be here. Um, one of my old neighbors, Denise, invited me to come over and share Easter with her family. And oh gosh, I, I may end up going. I don't know. I, I may end up going um, because they always have such delicious food. Oh my goodness. But I had bought a chicken and I was wanting to roast a chicken outdoors on my little outdoor oven slash grill or whatever. So I don't know. But it's not just about all of the, you know, candy and the Easter bunny. It is about the resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Lord, and his ascension to heaven. So keep that in mind. And uh, again, just have a blessed Sunday, Easter Sunday. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Ooh, look at my hands. They're all dirty. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.